Well, here comes uh, game one between Doom Eld and Doom Kobe, or not Doom Kobe, Doom Eld and Kobe. This is uh, Doom Joker with I Win Quaffle coming from Weissel Series StarCraft. Um, this should be a good matchup. we got a Master Terran player, and uh, Eld should be a Master Terran player. He tells me he hates the latter, but <laughs> he's, a great, he's a great player as well. Yes, from personal experience, I can tell you that Eld is a very strong Zerg player. <laughs> this will be, Kobe usually plays random, so he should be a pretty strong Terran. Um, he's high masters. And so here we go, starting her off. Cool, cool. Uh, we are here on MLG Metalopolis. Oh, Shakuris, sorry. <laughs> Metalopolis is just the standard map, I'm so used to saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All maps in Metalopolis and these cast. It's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. This is just a different version of Metalopolis. It's just <laughs> you spawn a little bit further away. Yeah. It is going to be MLG version, which means you have uh, supply depots at the bottom of your ramp, preventing a full wall in. And you can only spawn cross positions and uh, horizontal positions. You cannot yep. spawn below your opponent or above your opponent. And I think Eld's going to like this spawning position once he scouts it out because uh, it's such a long distance for the Terran to hoof all the way down there. It's going to be really hard to do bunker rushes against his natural because it's just such a long distance to run. So, Totally, totally. And it looks well, like uh, the Terran player is making his first supply depot at the bottom of his natural natural's ramp, so he'll most likely be going for a quick command center. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Eld has sent, he sent his overlord scout in the wrong position, and the SCV is also scouting in the wrong position, so they're going to be a little bit delayed on their uh, scouting information. Um, I wonder how Eld's going to punish this this uh, command center, this fast command center. He's going to see it coming for sure once he gets over there. So, And Eld is going to go for a spawning pool first. Oh, and gas. Looks like we could be seeing early speedlings before hatch, maybe? Is he trying to just get it over with? Possibly. I, uh, I'd i be pretty disappointed if he tries to go quick, <laughs> especially on these uh, long distances. Yeah. And Terran's ability to wall in so easily. I don't mm -hmm. think that would be a good decision. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's a good decision either. We'll see what he, he goes. He's got the gas up, not yet putting drones on it. So we'll see. You know, Eld is just telling me that he hasn't played in a while. He might be a little rusty. There he is now, just throwing his drones on it. So Nice, nice. He does have enough minerals to throw down a hatch, so once he throws a drone out to uh, his natural, I'm sure he'll go take it. Yeah. And he was supply blocked for a second. He had to do the extractor trick to get his queen going. Yeah, I've seen him do this a lot lately. You, um, you get to 17 supply, do an extractor mm -hmm. trick to get your queen out. It's uh, yeah. pretty effective. Yeah, you get that extra drone out, mining a little bit. So, yeah, it's a good, good move. Eld is also up in his base, checking everything out. This Marine's going to be able to kill off this drone. Yep. But uh, we see Kobe going for the two racks. I wonder if it's, if it's because he spotted that pool gas early, so he's going to try to get more more Marines out in time. But he did go for the two-rack build. Yeah, that's a pretty standard opening. Even if you don't put pressure on, you're going to be safe from everything. Mm -hmm. We see uh, Eld throwing down his hatchery finally. Yeah, uh, just about the same time as the Terran throws down his first command center. Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah, and we see these links chasing down this SCV. They're not going to kill it. They're going to back off. So this will be a good game. I'm glad that L didn't do an all-in speeding rush like I would have done because I'm a noob. But <laughs> that's what I saw coming. That was my build. Just a quick, quick pull, gas, all-in speedlings. That's what I like to do. <laughs> Try to get that before it walls off fully. <laughs> yeah. Remember when I played you, I did that because I was so mad. <laughs> I played I played Pawful in a tournament, and uh, I lost to him the first game. It was a pretty long game. He had Blink Stalkers, whatever, all up in my business. <laughs> the next match I played, I was so mad that I just went speedling all-in, and he stopped it. And so I, was, I think I rage quit or something. But No, you gave me a good game. You were very polite. <laughs> You're a polite guy, Joker. Thank you so all much. All right. <laughs> All right, we do have a bunch of links. Going to poke up top, take a little bit of damage from these Marines and back off. He's trying to get some scouting information, see if there's any reactors, tech labs on these barracks. Um, nothing up there, though, right now. It's pretty standard from both players right now. I'll do droning up. 
So we do see Elves going for the plus one uh, Zergling attack, which is nice. I actually, I really like to go for the uh, Zergling defense when I play Terran. It's just me. I mean, Elves is obviously a better player than me, but because it takes more than one tank shot to, you know, to kill Speedlings and a lot more to kill Roaches. So I really like the first defense, but mm -hmm. we'll see how it plays out. And he's definitely he's morphing into a lair as we speak, so we could be seeing some Speedling new to play, I hope. Uh, possibly. Uh, he should, if he wants to go to Mirus, he better start getting gas right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that one. I'm not too sure what you could go, what you could go into off of one gas on your lair. Yeah, light, light roaches. You know, not a whole lot. He need, definitely needs to get some gas geysers going on pretty soon. Maybe he's just going a lot of lanes. Um, oh, he's throwing down some gas geysers as we speak down in the natural. So good, good. We do see uh, Kobe going two factories with a tech lab on one. Ooh. He could be going for tanks or uh, to support his Hellions. Or, I mean, he could go Hellions. Or yeah. to support his Marines, he could go tanks, of course. Yeah. And we are seeing him go for a uh, blue flame igniter. So we're probably going to see some good Hellion play, maybe. It's it's always nice to have Hellions in your Terran army when you're fighting Zerg, just because they, especially Blue Flame, they just roast speedlings. Absolutely. Ridiculous. Oh, and we see Eld throwing down an infestation pit. Yes, so it's I a, love watching Eld with infestors. He's a nasty infestor user. I've seen him play many Terrans and dominate with infestors, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And we see an armory going down for Kobe, possibly uh, Thor's. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah. Gonna get a few. Uh, it's gonna see a mech Terran with yeah. uh, marine support, which I totally yeah. approve of, and we don't see too often. Nor do yeah. we see the infestors. So we got a pretty this uncommon be an game. Awesome game. I really want to see infestors with neural parasite on some Thors or some tanks. That'll be awesome. I'm stoked. I hope it happens. Oh, uh, that I've would be it, absolutely I've seen it before. He could, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. So the mobility with that is going to favor the Zerg by far. Mm -hmm. The Terran is really going to have to make. It's really going to have to lower the Infestor count before he's able to uh, do anything to Eld economically. All right. And we do see Kobe poking with a couple Hellions. Blue Flame just got done. Eld mm -hmm. is also throwing his third up there. Yep. And we see Eld going for Pathogen Glands, which gives the Infestors more, uh, more starting energy. Right. And uh, Zerg attack level two. Yep, and the path pathogen glands uh, allows the infestors to pop with a fungal growth already. Mm -hmm. And we do see the Thors. Good call, Joker. Nice. Thors coming out. And we see Kobe moving out with a little force. We got five, uh, five what are those, Hellions. Mm -hmm. I like to call them Warthog face play Halo. But uh, <laughs> we have five Hellions coming out with a nice group of Marines. I don't know if they're just going to scout, if they're going to do a little pressure. El doesn't have a whole lot of defense going on right here. He's got a couple lanes. This could be pretty dangerous. He needs yeah. to get, get some more units out. Oh, oh, he so has going to roast a lot of those lanes. Eld's coming back up into the base. He's instantly creating a lot more lanes. I don't know. It's yeah, a pretty dangerous-looking army. He's do, he does have three investors training, but they are Ooh. a long ways from completing it. Oh, and, and these Hellions are just going to have their way oh, with Eld's army. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a GG coming over here pretty soon because he's... Oh, my gosh. He doesn't have anything that can really stop these Hellions right mm -hmm. now. And just Kobe lost his hatch. He's in bad shape. Yeah, and Kobe instantly takes the uh, the drone lead, uh, thirty six to thirty one. Now thirty eight to thirty one. Yeah. a huge fungal growth on the Marines, but he's going to need a second one if he wants to kill those Marines. Yep, and he lost all those infestors. Those infestors went down to the Marines. This is going to be GG. So this is going to be the end of this game. Hopefully, we can get a rematch going here. And there's the GG by L. Well played by Kobe, though. Yeah, great timing. Uh, really caught. Uh, kicked in right before the infestors popped. Uh, mm -hmm. Eld's macro did slip a little bit, and as we said, mm -hmm. maybe it's due to the fact that he hasn't played a 1v1 in a while. Yeah. Uh, and I did like Kobe's transition. He was going to go straight into Thor's, uh, hopefully to, you know, maybe he was expecting Mutalisks, and that push was to catch a Mutalisk timing. Unfortunately, it was a uh, infestor timing. Definitely, yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, Eld wants to go again, so let's get into game two. All right. 